fuck is Blueprint Tycoon and why did I buy it? <laughs> you really just started throwing money at Steam and didn't well, know what to stop. Well, because for my birthday, my sister bought me a $100 Steam card. <laughs> so I just bought indie games. My sister bought me wagon wheels and an elastic band gun. <laughs> I got a Coca-Cola fridge. John? Okay, Chris wins. But, um, ah. John, I think your sister might be saying something with that. Yeah, kill the fucking squirrel on the deck with the elastic band gun. Or she's calling you retarded. Probably both. <laughs> Yeah, no, she probably does she want leave you anytime. To, uh... <laughs> she probably does want you to kill the squirrels with a rubber band gun. You've seen those squirrels. They're little bastards living on my deck. Okay, we no, might as well like start because we're behind. Oh, we didn't grab the pot Guys, in the potting soil. We might as well or start. We're please. behind. I thought we already started. No. <laughs> okay, well, what do you mean? I thought we were Are recording Knock Talk. I just plugged in. Put the batteries in. Batteries are in the remote. The it. There's always spare batteries in the drawer next to her bedside, though. There isn't, because those batteries don't die. They don't? They don't get turned on. <laughs> That's not the only thing not getting turned on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 John, that happens to me quite frankly. I just get let down. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean uh, you. Oh. Let's face it, I feel bad for her. Goddamn. <laughs> Seriously, I only woke up pumping her leg like a dog once. It was once, right? We both know that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we bought you that love pillow, Trevor. Wait, you bought me a love pillow? Fuck off, John, really? <laughs> no. Because it hasn't come yet. What? <laughs> You know. <laughs> yeah, no, I realized what I said there. Um, it hasn't arrived in the mail yet. <laughs> John, I'm going to mail you a blow-up doll with just a tag that says hashtag mail order bride. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Russian. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to make hashtag sure. Hashtag Koi. Oh, God, John. God John, that just reminds me of that store out in Richmond, the, like, Russian convenience store. I'm pretty sure you could buy a blow-up doll in there. Alright, okay, okay, I'm starting, we're starting. I thought we did start. No, we gotta start proper. And then we'll get into, like, E3 predictions no, and shit. Can mm -hmm. we just record it in the intro and cut it into the beginning? Well, this isn't really knock talk, I thought we were gonna talk about E3. We're just talking the shit here, we're gonna talk about a bunch it. of things, mate. Okay, okay, we'll start. Oh, oh, I felt it! Hold on. <laughs> Hi, everybody, welcome to knock talk. I'm Chris. Trevor, speak, damn it. That's John. You go first, John. And that was Trevor. <laughs> and that lady in the background. Um, That's Trevor's handler. Yeah. He's not allowed out in public on his own, so we have to, to pay a leash. woman. Yeah. Trevi has potato brain. <laughs> yeah, so... Tonight, with E3, just in a matter of days, we thought we are going to talk about our E3 predictions. And Way I to wanna... date the episode. Oh, duh. <laughs> Why do you care about dating the episode? Guys, if we're really going to date the episode, so about Trump winning that election. Fuck, no! <laughs> <sighs> okay, moving on. It was on. a good run. Moving but, on, uh, probably. What about, you know, Reagan winning that election? God damn. Did not see that one coming. Oh, guys, did you hear about Teddy Roosevelt winning? <laughs> guys... There's this new country forming. It's called the United States of America. I hear they have 13 colonies so far. They decided to steal it from the British. Okay, it moving on like promptly. me and my family to throw tea in the goddamn river. Moving on, moving on, moving on promptly. E3 predictions. Thank you, gents. Thank you. <laughs> okay. E3 uh, predictions. I, I'm gonna... Um, okay, well, let's start Let's start with Sony's show. No, Bethesda's yeah. show. Let's start out with Bethesda's show. <laughs> Okay, well, we're just gonna skip EA. Well, we'll start in the order that they're gonna go. I thought EA came before Bethesda. No, no, it's, it's Bethesda is Sunday night. EA is Monday afternoon. Sony. What is... about Nintendo? Nintendo's on Sunday. Uh, is it? Yeah. At some point, yes. Do Do you not have a schedule up? No, not now. 
Okay, you were supposed to be prepared. Okay, Bethesda, Bethesda. We're going to start with <coughs> Bethesda. So, there's been rumors of a Skyrim remaster. Yes. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Um, I think I just want... That's too much background noise. I think... Fuck a remaster of Skyrim. Give me goddamn Elder Scrolls 6 already, you cock-ass bitches. I don't think that's going to happen because they said a while ago that you're not we're not going to be seeing that for a long time. And given okay. and given that with all the leaks that's been happening with the new Wolfenstein game and Dishonored 2 and the reemergence of Prey 2, but that's just got a very full schedule right now. What I think's going to happen is Todd Howard is going to get up on stage and go, "Hey, hey guys, just please remember Elder Scrolls Online is still a thing." Oh, probably. You know what I'd go for? Remember that? Remember Fallout Online that was in development a while back by uh, the original the original devs? No, because I had a life at one point. Really? <laughs> Not really, but I uh, had better things to do. <laughs> okay, well, moving on. Um, did you guys actually pr uh, play the original Prey at all? No. Again, no. going back to having a life at one point. Okay, well, let's go to up in front. EA does EA, go in Oh, before. EA is going first. Okay, whatever. Then Bethesda. <laughs> then it's uh, Microsoft, Ubisoft, Sony. Uh, Nintendo is on uh, Tuesday. So what are you guys' predictions for Nintendo's conference? Zelda, oh, Zelda, oh, Zelda, oh, Zelda, oh. Zelda, Zelda. We're going to see The Legend of Zelda and hopefully get a title. Um... To be honest, and, yeah. I, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy, so that's more your department, John. I know. That's where I'm going with this. So, we'll see The Legend of Zelda. Prob probably a title. Um, Reggie saying something that becomes a meme. Or maybe, I don't know, Miyamoto or someone. Someone's going to be a meme. It happens every year. Um, someone will say, please understand... When it comes to the Wii U, Did you they've already said. Thing? Hmm? What? EA is just doing its own thing this year. It's not okay. really participating in E3. It's just like EA is doing its own thing this year with a three day public event near the convention center. Well, let's actually look at EA. What is EA doing this year Battle aside Field from, one. you know, Creating giving a us a one eighth of a game? game? Okay. EA, uh, it's not in the game. EA, pay extra to play. EA, uh, it's in the DLC. All right, guys, fuck off. Seriously, I'm about EA. Okay. Um, EA, so, it's in the microtransaction. <laughs> okay, last one. Visera is probably going to announce their uh, new Star Wars game, which is actually really interesting because Amy Henning, um, she left during the development of uh, Uncharted 4 mm -hmm. to go and head of uh, uh, Visceral, Star Wars their Star Wars game, and I'm really interested to see what that is, because there's been hints that it's a revive of some sort. Of I would play person. the hell out of a Viscera Star Wars game. Visceral. But a Viscera Star Wars game. Come on, think about it. I'd play the hell out of that. Clean up after the Jedi? The internal organs and the main captivities of the body, especially those in the abdomen. Guys, guys, could you imagine just being the cleanup crew on the Death Star afterwards and you just have to sweep a bunch of droid parts into a trash bin? What about if you were the cleanup crew on Alderaan after? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Uh, it's like well, John, at least your job would be easy. Millions of fries just ended. Um, okay, so... Also, um... Can we talk a moment about what EA is doing with its new Need for Speed mobile game? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. paying. They're, they're charging for fuel. Yeah, charging for fuel. Has microtransactions gone too far? Well, you have to imagine okay. from a developer standpoint, it isn't. If it's going to be like a pay-to-play game, kind of. It's kind but of if it, but can you play without paying? I don't Does know why the fuel you install it, install it on your phone. Up? Yeah, actually, that's a good point, Trevor. If when you run when you run out of fuel, is that it? There's got to be a yeah, way to get free fuel. 
What's their, uh... Oh, you just complete this, uh, free online survey that only takes a moment and gives you 12 viruses. Are you serious on that? What's their new for speed game called? Oh no, I'm just making a joke about it. Is it, uh, No Limits? Um, no, No Limits has been out for a long time. Has it? Yeah. No Limits sucks. (laughs) EA sucks. Um, Off, John. (laughs) Speed? Uh, you act no. like I don't have a solid ground to stand on with this argument. No. Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, um, this game here has reviews going all the way back to, like, 2015. At least that's the top one from another buddy of mine who commented on this. I think yeah, there's need for speed. Uh, no limits. All right. If so, uh, then they've already had microtransactions on that the whole time. Really? Yeah, because I I played that for a bit, and the game sucks. Okay. So like, buy parts and stuff, and just everything's terrible. Who wants to talk about the Microsoft conference? I predict that they announce a new higher-powered Xbox One to try and compete with the newly announced uh, high-powered PS4. Probably do something like that. They're probably going to do something with HoloLens. Probably they're going to show off that. Uh, that Minecraft. Really neat. Yeah, I was going to say that. They did this last year where they did a Minecraft HoloLens collaboration. I thought it was actually pretty neat. I didn't I bother really watching old. the actual conference. I just watched the highlights. But Why yeah. The only guy who sits through all the conferences. I sit through the ones I care about. I just. Microsoft, I don't give two flying fucks. Can we actually See, have a quick really look at For Honor? That Microsoft actually comes out with like a proper VR Minecraft. I know there are mods out there that support the Oculus and all that, but like... Well, like, the issue with VR right now, Trevor, is that everyone who's experienced it keeps saying the same thing. It's great, but when they go to start moving, they feel very sick because of the motion. So you'll see a lot of VR games are more stationary. Yeah, but so is Minecraft, like, because I was watching YouTube videos where a person was doing a playthrough. Like, an entire playthrough of VRMC, yeah, and apparently it was super weird, because, like, you do actually have to physically jump to jump and all that, but... Can we actually, um, talk about Battlecry for a minute? What is Battlecry? What is Battlecry? Uh, it's Bethesda's failed game. Oh, yeah! They're, they're... They're really trying to push Battlecry, and uh, I heard something a while ago that they tried to shut them down a while ago. Really? Hmm. Yeah, Battlecry Studios. Really? How about the yeah. PC gaming show conference? Huh. What do you mean on that? Oh, are they doing one that year? Yeah, they're doing another one, just like last year. Oh, okay. Last year's was amazing. And it was awesome. So this year's, it's going to be awesome and celebrate the Master Race. Yeah. Really? Now, going back to Battlecry really quick, from the gameplay I saw, it, it, it really doesn't look very good. No, no it does not. It really doesn't. Do you think we're going to see the RX 480, I think it is? At uh, the PC gaming show? Maybe. Which one's that one? Is that AMD's new card? Yeah, the $200 VR ready card. Oh, I'd okay. be shocked if uh, they don't have it there because AMD well, sponsors AMD, the um, PC gaming show. So. No, no, but AMD released that at Computex. Yeah, I think but they'll want to show it off more, though. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> Now, Ubisoft, um, Assassin's Creed probably won't be showing up, but they're going to be pushing Watch Dogs 2 pretty hard. They're probably going to announce... Back, fractured but whole. That South one's going to be a big one. Whole. It's going to be that fractured one to the new Watch whole. Dogs. God damn it, John. Fractured but whole. <laughs> oh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Uncharted 76, Drake breaks out of the nursing home. <laughs> I happen to like Uncharted. Yes, Chris, but you're This time it's a cinematic movie. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see. They're actually working on a movie. Watch Dogs uh, 2.5 DLC that you'll need to buy day one to make it actually run. Now, again, I played Watch Dogs. I enjoyed it for what it was, but again, it was lacking a lot of substance. Ubisoft had a very bad year on the second half of 2014. Yeah, they kind of did, didn't they? Well, uh, I than Unity, one, though. really enjoyed Rainbow Six Siege, which came out... 2015, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Let's see, do you think we'll see a new Just Dance uh, with this celebrity oh, who's probably. annoying as hell? Uh... <laughs> Hang on, I really hope Aisha Tyler does not attend the thing. Let's see, Wait. Sony conference. Do you think Kojima is going to be brought in? Oh, probably. <laughs> probably, because Kojima's like Sony's brand new trophy. Of course they're going to fucking show up. Oh yeah, they up. managed like, to like rub salvage it in Xbox's him from face the... and everything. Yeah, they salvage him from the ruins of Konami, and it's like, God damn it, Konami. You gave us the Konami code. Konami? How like, did what, you do this? What the hell happened with Konami? They basically, like... They shit the bed on Silent Hill, and then they had a fucking conniption after Phantom Pain. Oh, Kojima, you're making way too much money for us. Oh, get out. Oh, Kojima, what do you mean you just spent, like, a quarter of a century building a company and making it what it is so we could actually have jobs a quarter of a century later. And then you should they're leave. stealing the franchise. They're, make, they're probably, they're working on new Metal Gear right now. They took uh, the franchise too. And they're just gonna, body. I know. So they kicked him out and they stole his toy. <laughs> they also have the engine uh, as well. Hashtag still better than EA. He couldn't <laughs> even take his own engine he developed. The Fox engine? Yeah. That's theirs. Yeah. So moving over to Sony, he's probably going to be using a third-party engine for his first game. But they've already shown off a little bit of rendering. But, you know, if I was Sony, I'd just give him, like, no time constraint and just tell him to go at it and That's do what, what he, he has. does. That's what he has. Good. I know. But, yeah, the Sony's probably just going to rub it in everybody's faces. Look what we got. We got Kojima. <laughs> it's probably what's going to happen. <sighs> Anyways. You know, I think, though, uh, when it comes to Nintendo, there's a very important thing that we could see. Yeah. And that would be Tegan Topa Kirby Lagon. I don't get it. Trevor? Oh, well. Lagon? Tegan Topa Kirby Lagon? Come on. You watch anime. Yeah, no, but the only joke I really understood there, Kirby. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm completely lost. And I think that's a, a good place to leave it there. Perhaps so, though, with that said. Oh, that can pierce the heavens, which I'm still 99.9% .9 sure is a sex joke, but I've been assured otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've been Nocturnal. Thank you for listening, and this has been Noc Talk. Thank Have a good night, y'all. Have a good night.